unfortunately, um, my mom and dad uh, have both passed from this life uh, to eternal life. And I, I live with great hope that I will be together with them one day in heaven. But I, I certainly miss them at times. And one of the things that I miss uh, is uh, the family meal, uh, especially at my mom and dad's table. Uh, my mom really poured herself out to provide us regularly, uh, pretty much every night, with a, with a wonderful meal. And gathering around the family table was uh, so important to my mom. And as time has gone on, I've come to realize how important it was for my sisters and myself as well. Uh, you know, I think the dinner table was a great source of unity for our family. Uh, we found out what was going on in people's lives. We, we laughed together. We cried together. Sometimes we argued uh, at the dinner table. Um, but, you know, as a norm, uh, we didn't answer the phone. And that was just a real time of coming together as family. Uh, we had to swim against the tide in order to make that meal a priority. Um, I was very involved with a lot of sports and a lot of activities at school and my little sister became very involved pretty early too. And uh, we all understood though uh, that in our house that evening meal was really important. Um, the dinner table was also a time for us to pray together. And our prayer wasn't long and it wasn't uh, super complicated, um, but we prayed and we thanked God for the meal that was before us. And we thanked God for my mother who, whose great love and great skill uh, provided those meals. Um, we regularly prayed together as a family at the dinner table. Another thing that I think um, is that that meal is becoming more and more important than ever <laughs> because families are being torn apart by so many things and there's it seems like there's even more activities and of course there's social media and video games and and a lot of things that are a great distraction to the family these days and um, I think the devil is working harder and harder to uh, create disunity and to prevent us from uh, growing together in love as a family. And so, um, last thing I want to share is that I think that Jesus made the dinner table a great priority in his life. We, we know that he, he probably lived at home until he was 30 and, and probably shared a meal most nights around that table with, with Mary and Joseph. And we also know uh, from the Gospels that Jesus made uh, sharing meals with others at their homes a top priority. And so we saw him uh, head off to uh, Martha and Mary and to the Pharisee's house and to uh, Zacchaeus' house and certainly the Last Supper. And so uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, in the name of Christ and in the name of, of a healthy and unified family, I encourage all of you to make the family meal a top priority in your daily lives. Thank you and God bless you.